them three. Now, you guys are going to give them three, and I'm going to give a different three. And here's how this is going to work. You guys are tasked with giving me three reasons that Georgia is going to win the national title. I'm going to give you three reasons they won't. Ooh. Oh, so are you going first? Or I going will go in between you two. Juxtaposition. Okay. Right. Or should I go last? Go last. All right. Go ahead. Jay will give them three. All right. First one I got, the only team that has stood in their <laughs> way is no longer standing. Ooh. Alabama is no longer with Nick Saban. They've been the only team to beat that. He was the only existing head coach in 2018 to defeat them. Alabama has been the only team that has kind of hindered Georgia of getting to a national title since 2020. Solid take. No longer there. Second one, they will have the better quarterback in every single game they play in this season. Regular season. Regular season. And maybe overall. Maybe overall. He might be the best quarterback in college. But they're football. going to have the quarterback advantage pretty yeah. much every single weekend until, you know, maybe another name comes up or whatever. You know how college football season goes. But Carson Beck, massive advantage mm. for Georgia coming back for a second year. And my final one, this might be the most playoff-ready team once the postseason arrives. I mean, these guys are going to be tested all across the board, across multiple conferences. You start out with Clemson. You work your way down to Alabama on the road, Texas on the road, Ole Miss on the road. You're going to play Tennessee with a young quarterback with Kentucky Nico. Kentucky on the road. Kentucky on the road. This team is going to be postseason ready when the post, before the postseason even arrives. So I think this team is going to be possibly more prepared than anybody else to make a push for the college football playoff hey jay will give him three i was what waiting got for me i was baby? waiting for it. i know i'm a little rusty so the first one i have is and jay will kind of touch on this they arguably have the best returning quarterback in college football i like, think quinn yours is, is is a good little debate there we had this the other night yeah. i had a whole list of ones versus a whole list of question marks uh you were doing gabriel jackson dark carson beck i know all of those as known commodities mm -hmm. i know exactly what they're going to produce and i mean Carson Beck's the most experienced. He's going into his fifth year of school. He's fifth year of being on the team. He's gotten a lot of starts. He's, I mean, he was could have been a Heisman finalist last year if you don't lose to Bama. So that's one of my reasons. And then you know, you know for a fact this is going to be a top ten defense next year. It's a Kirby mm. Smart defense. Like it's almost a given at this point. Hasn't been outside of the top ten since two thousand and eighteen. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, Isn't that nuts. That's that is nuts. Wild. That's wild. So, I mean, you're going to have an elite defense, and we've seen the last few seasons that that's kind of a requirement in this day of college football, that you have to have a suffocating defense on top of the fact that they're going to have probably one of the best quarterbacks in the country. And then the third one I have is you're for the first time in almost a 1,000 days getting a pissed-off Georgia team. Mm. Like, they're coming into the season. They're not the national champions. They're not the media darling. People aren't talking about them like that. They're mad. You saw a bunch of players talk about how, you know, I forgot how much it hurt to lose. Like there's this team is going to come in and try to light the world on fire next year. Man, man's buying into the revenge. Good revenge chip on story. the shoulder. Yeah, chip on the shoulder. I like it. A little edge to the team. Mm -hmm. Maybe a couple team meetings this summer. Ooh, Ooh. Ooh. accountability Boy. meetings. <laughs> Offensive lineman telling them that they're going to road grade some folks. Hey, hey, we're, we're on the Bama path right there. Um, <laughs> hey, Christian Kirby, give them three. All right, I got three. Why they won't win? All right, and number one plays into both of you guys. Your quarterback is hurt this year. You are in trouble. Mm -hmm. All right, and not because I think Gunnar Stockton is bad, but Gunnar Stockton first year starting. I promise you, I'm going to go ahead and say it right now. It's not going to be 72% completion percentage. All right, it's not going to be walk in, this guy's got it all figured out like it felt like at times last year with Carson Beck. You're back into these, ooh, what's about to happen with the quarterback, all right, with a first-year starter essentially if Carson gets hurt. Second thing on this list, is the weaponry. What happens if the weaponry doesn't develop for another year, right? We've been talking for years now about, ooh, they got all this talent at the wide receiver position. Ooh, look, look here, look here, look here. It never really amounts to anything other than team efforts, right? Team efforts, team efforts. Everybody eats, everybody eats. Ooh, we're tight end heavy this year, right? What if the tight ends don't bounce back like they're supposed to, right? What if Oscar Delp is like, 60% of Brock Bowers instead of the 90% or the 85% that he might need to be to maintain, right? What happens, I already talked about it, but what happens if Rara Thomas and Dominic Lovett kind of just do the same thing that they did this year? What if the weaponry doesn't take that next step? That's my my second thing that might cause some hindrance into guaranteeing Georgia to win a national title. And my third one, and this is obvious every single year, you have a bad day, you're done. Mm -hmm. You are done, Okay. So you can't have bad days. And this was why I got on to you guys and the Georgia fan base for doing the, oh, well, well, I think we were one of the best four teams. You weren't on December 2nd, all right? And that's all it takes now. It takes one bad day in the college football playoff. After December, you cannot have bad days. 
All right, you can't have them at all. And any bad luck injury-wise obviously takes you out. So bad luck in general or a bad day is reason number three. Uh, a real sad golf clap, give them three. Yeah, so that's what I got. I, I think for your second point about the talent not developing, <clears throat> I think that is – part of the advantage of having a quarterback like Carson Correct. Beck because he can help you kind of if that were to happen if any, any position or any player whatsoever if that were to happen I think a quarterback like Carson Beck can help you overcome those struggles a little bit but you de you definitely have to have somebody I mean it, probably multiple people Oscar Delp or some, one of the wide receivers you have to have one of those guys or one of these transfer guys come in you have to have one of those guys step up and, and just be that guy all right 